Hi, it's Dwyer, December the 10th, 2020. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about Canelo's fight against unbeaten Callum Smith. Let's update it a bit. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, I made a video yesterday on the upcoming Anthony Joshua, Kubrat Pulev fight. And some of you left some very strong comments, right? One person wrote, after hearing this video, basically, I'm taking Joshua by KO in two rounds, right? My opinion's the opposite. I think this is a complicated fight that's going to go several rounds, where Joshua is going to have a lot of problems, right? Many of you don't see it that way. So, what I want to do is to quote Yui Fury in an interview he gave after I made my video, right? At least it was reported after I made my video. It's on BoxingScene.com today, right? And Fury is interesting because Fury is tall, like Anthony Joshua. He has reach, like Anthony Joshua. I would argue he moves better than Anthony Joshua. Yui Fury has a better jab, quite frankly, than Anthony Joshua, right? Let's just say, if you believe in Joshua's jab, let's just say the jabs offset each other. Well, Yui Fury fought and lost to Pulev, and here's the quote. Pulev is a very difficult fighter. He'll give Joshua problems in the early rounds, and then he doesn't need to let him set behind his jab. If he lets Pulev sit behind his jab, he's going to have problems. Folks, take it from a heavyweight who fought Fury. Right? Joshua doesn't move as well as Fury. My thesis is that Joshua, who's cautious by nature, is going to take a few rounds to figure out Fury. He's going to find himself behind in the fight. He's going to have to start leading with power shots, taking him further out of his game plan. Fury's going to control distance. Fury the jabber is experienced in the later rounds. At some point in this fight, both men are going to realize the title is up for grabs sometime during the second half of the fight. The 7-1 odds are simply too tempting to me. I like Pulev at 7-1. to one. I'll hedge the play with Joshua by KO. Well, here, I think Canelo is going to come out and destroy Callum Smith. Right? I think Callum Smith here won't know how to deal with Canelo's aggression. Canelo is better than John Ryder. Right? John Ryder gave Smith all he could handle. I've seen the statements from the Smith camp that certain things were going on, that Smith took the fight on the last minute and things like that, and that this time... He's prepared for the John Ryder type of attack. My point to you is Canelo, when he wants, can throw fast combinations. While I put Terrence Crawford on top as the best in the sport pound for pound, let me openly concede here that Canelo is on the very short list and that there is nobody in boxing. Let me repeat that. Nobody in boxing who has fought the level of opposition that Canelo has fought, right? Think about it. Golovkin, twice. Miguel Cotto, Floyd Mayweather, Danny Jacobs, Kovalev, right? Canelo has fought so many guys that it's baffling, right? Austin Trout. James Kirkland, all Canelo victims. So, the point I'm making here in this video 
is that if Canelo's allowed to come forward like John Ryder, folks, the fight is over. I'm predicting Canelo by stoppage. Right? I think a 6'3 guy like Callum Smith has an expiration date at 168 pounds. Right? By now, he should be fighting at 175. I think it works against him when he's in against a very elite body puncher who's going to take away his rib cage. Canelo also is underrated defensively. So he's following Kovalev around the ring. You never saw Canelo get hit with anything hard. Canelo moves just enough where he doesn't take punishment. Golovkin fought Danny Jacobs, took punishment. By the way, let me add that Gabe Rosado is right. He may have been robbed in his recent fight against Danny Jacobs. Let me throw that in there. But you'll notice when Canelo fought Jacobs, Canelo seemed to hardly get touched. Right? Canelo knows how to move his head. Now let me throw this out to fans of Callum Smith. Is it possible that all of us have been set up? Callum Smith has something like a seven and a half to eight inch reach advantage. Right? Huge reach advantage. Canelo at times wears a knee brace on his knee. Canelo doesn't move that well, at least not in his last few fights, right? When he's fighting Rocky Fielding, he's hunting him down. When he's fighting Kovalev, he's hunting him down. We haven't seen the fight where a guy sticks a jab in Canelo's face, forces him to be outside, and forces him to move to try to catch up with him. Now, I haven't seen a Callum Smith fight where he's put together that kind of back foot game where his huge, and folks, it's huge. Canelo's like 5'9", and I'm being charitable. Callum Smith is 6'3". If Callum Smith knows how to use a jab, knows how to pump a jab, knows how to move away the right way, knows how to hide his head, right? If he could fight like Vitaly Klitschko did against Chris Ariola, this fight will be on the table for him. But you know what I believe deep down? That styles make fights. That guys revert to what they know. That you can't teach an old dog new tricks for one fight. Very few guys are able to pull it off. Stevie Collins fights Chris Eubank, Chris Eubank Jr.'s father, twice. Is different in both fights. I'll give Stevie Collins that. Folks, that's a rare talent. Most can't do it. Given the physical discrepancy between Callum Smith and Canelo, given Canelo's need to pace himself. Let's remember his fight against Alfredo Angulo, right? Canelo, Canelo's taking off minutes of rounds in that fight. Is it possible that Callum Smith, who is great inside, could come up with a way to spend rounds outside, bank rounds, Come inside just enough to remind Canelo, player, I got game inside. Then go back outside and win a decision in the United States. I say the answer is no. I think Callum Smith has fought too much in the same style for too long. Right? When John Ryder collapses the pocket against him, it's not like Callum Smith decides, let me take a step back. Let me get up on my toes. Let me hit this guy with a jab because I know this guy's going to try to come inside. Let me throw combinations. Let me hit him with uppercuts. Let me force this guy who's looking down and walking forward to have to turn to find me. 
Folks, it didn't happen in that fight. I don't expect it to happen in this fight. I like Canelo here. I'm expecting a stoppage. But this is an interactive forum. To the Callum Smith crowd. I want you to leave in the comment section of this YouTube video your thoughts on how Callum Smith can win this fight. I'm just telling you, Canelo, pound for pound, is one of the hardest punchers in the sport. If this turns into a fight where both guys are deep in the pocket throwing bombs, I'm going to go with the guy with the shorter reach with what I think is the bigger punch, right? The guy who can get lower, who can hide his body better, who has the better defense, and that's Canelo. But if there's another way, if Callum Smith has been dreaming of this fight for a long time, and even though we just recently got the phone call for the fight, had previously figured out the strategy he was going to use. Let's remember, Vitaly Klitschko had something like two weeks to prepare for Lennox Lewis. I believe he gave Lennox Lewis the best fight of Lewis's career. Right? If Smith is that guy, tell us about it in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.